Hi, this short little video will show you how to import a bulk of questions into a quiz. So before we start with that, I think the first thing that we need to do is we need to always, anytime we edit, always switch on or turn editing on. And we need to also just plan it a little bit. So if I'm going to create a quiz um, around a specific topic let's say in my case i want to do one around creating quizzes i'm going to go down to my administration block i'm going to go to the question bank now the question bank is divided into questions or categories so if i click questions i'm going to see all the questions that i have in this category or in my in this course but in my instance for now i want to create a new category and let me just show you what the categories look like at the moment there is the, only the default category but i'm going to create a quiz of quizzes right so a quiz of quizzes let's call it that so it's, it's not as confusing okay i'm going to say add category so what i've now done is in my question bank i've created a space where i'm going to upload my my question so it's not just one Big repository of all the questions I have but this is just a way for me to organize the questions that I do have so I've now added the category now I can actually go to the questions so I've got mine here in a word document and I just want to show you and I've, and I've put all the trimmings of, of, of um, word on so you can see exactly this space bar and that's a full stop right so it means there's there's nothing beyond that point so what you need to do is put down your question text so in my case here what is the correct answer to this question then for your different options i've got four but you can put in different ones i just want to say this is called the aiken format um and this will be important later on um, it's just an option we're going to click but what i want to say is this this format can only handle multiple choice questions so if you want to design true and false questions like these ones you're going to have to adjust your 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 way of designing by just giving an option a and b um, but in any case i think it's still fairly innovative you don't have to be online to design um, your questions um, you can also have, use repositories of other questions to actually create this which is actually quite cool all right but just some finer points just make sure when you at the end of the question you do not leave a space like space bar like that there needs there must be no spaces otherwise it's going to see everything else as part of the question and not as an option the same here we've got option a full stop space and the option and no space after the question mark and that's just very important because that's how how are you connected will read that this is a different um, option so as i say you can do as many as you want here when you're ready and you know the answer obviously you can say answer double point space and the option and this way this question d must be the one so that is the correct answer and the same with a multiple choice no space after the, the question text, no space after the options, and then answer as well. Answer, no space. What I also need to say is when you move to the next question, always hit enter twice so that you have that space, of, there's no space after that, and there's no space in between. Okay, so unfortunately, we also have to create, convert this into a text file. So that would be to say file, save as, we can then rename the, the, the document. I'm going to call mine questions. Hey, typing is terrible today. And then under your file format, and I know in the in the, in a, in a Microsoft version, ach, the, the, the Windows versions, you'll also have this. Just uh, click your file format and move it to plain text dot txt. When you're ready, hit save. And unfortunately, if you're a Mac user, you can't use this or MS-DOS. You need to move, move it to another encoding. 
I think in, in the Windows machines, this will be a drop down. Just look for Unicode UTF 8. Right. Once you've selected that, you can hit OK. It's now going to save your questions text. So you can close this one. And I found mine on my computer. You'll see there's my plain text file. Um, and now we are ready to upload. So go to your back to your course page or back to your question bank. So if you're coming back to your page, let's go back to the home page. Let me just show you how to do that. You scroll down to administration. Under administration, you have question bank. You click question bank, and we are now going to import, All right? We're not going to look at questions. We're not going to create a category, but we are going to import the question. All right, and here's where that important button is, file format. You need to select a format. If you don't, this block will pop up red if, if later on, but we are using the Aiken format. And then it's just finding our document on our computer and dragging and dropping it into this file or into this box. If you can't do that, just click choose file and you can upload a file like you would normally do. Okay, but we are done. Then you hit import. And what are you connected will tell you now is it is importing two questions from file. So if you've got a hundred questions, it should tell you you're importing a hundred questions. If for some reason the formatting is not correct and you've left an extra space after a question, it would actually pop up in red where it, 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 it started losing context. So you can actually go back to the Word document and actually fix it on the, on the, on the Word document itself. What you'll also see is it also adds in um, uh, numbers, but this is not uh, question numbers, but this is not going to be pulled through to the question bank itself. So we can hit continue. And you'll see it opens you up back in the question bank. It it will take you down to uh, the it will show you the default category, um, which we unfortunately imported it to. But we can then move these questions. So if you click on all of this, you can you'll see move to. Next to it, we can just click quiz of quizzes and click move to quiz of quizzes. So what we've done now is. If we go back to our question bank, I'm going to go back into the question bank. You'll see in the category quiz of quizzes, we've got two questions. In the default for EdTech, which is my course, this will still pop up. But it is a default, it is a deferred set, right? So if we go back to our course page, just to show you how simple it would be then to create a quiz, if we find a space where we would want to create our quiz, we could set up our quiz. There is a video on how to set it up, so this I'm going to do very fast. Um, not going to worry about anything like that. There is the quiz I've just set up. Now we need to populate it. So we say edit quiz. In this section, you'll say add. We're going to add um, from a question bank. If you have 50 questions and you only want to randomize 10, you can do add a random question. Um, but we're just going to say add from question bank. Now, if I had four or five other categories um, with each with their own questions, you'd see the list of all the questions under EdTech. Um, under the default, because I'm saying this is EdTech because the course name is EdTech. So if you're teaching Psychology 1, you'd see default for Psychology 1. If I had three other core, um, uh, categories and I've sorted my questions that way, I would actually have different um, categories here. So I'm going to select this one. It will only load the two. If I want to add in all of them, I select 
just hit the T and say add selector to quiz. There you've got all of your questions in the quiz. And the same for adding a random question. I'm actually going to add a random question. We want to add one random question because we only have two questions. So we can't add in more than that. So there I've got a random question. So it's just really a simple process to, to up bulk upload quite a number of questions. Thank you.